Fam, it's your girl Gladys, aka Is That Your Hair, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Is That Your Hair Holiday. This series is all about showcasing super bomb units for the holiday season. I'm also collabing with some of my favorites on the YT. So today I'm collabing with my girl Shanice Nicole. Woo -woo. <laughs> Let me tell you about Shanice. Shanice is like my YouTube sister from another mister. I just love that girl so much. I love her content. I think she's super informative, very comical. I just feel like all her reviews, you know, just keep us on your toes. I just really appreciate her take on life, her humor, and you should definitely follow her on Instagram because her stories are so funny. She's definitely been a pivotal person in my YouTube journey. I just feel like, you know, she's made this YouTube thing a little bit easier. You know what I'm saying? Of course, I had to collab with my girl. Denise, thank you so much for just being here for me on the YT. Also, just nice seeing another black woman, another dark-skinned woman, you know, just slaying these wigs. I swear, her lace be so melted. Sometimes I be struggling. I'm like, you know, let me go watch Denise's video real quick and see what she did because I feel like we have a similar complexion. <laughs> Make sure you check out her channel in the description box down below. I will leave all links. Show my girl some love. Drop her lots of comments on her video and make sure you go subscribe because I promise you, you won't be disappointed. So Shanice, thank you so much, girl. I love you. Mwah. All right, so today, Shanice and I decided to collaborate on a copper unit. A copper unit that we would love for y'all to slay. I'm showcasing a unit that might look a little familiar. And it is my outre, and yes, it is from their soft and natural line. This is Nisha 203 in the Sienna Copper color. Quick specs on 203, she comes with two combs in the front, a comb in the back, adjustable straps. She comes with um, this parting right here that goes back about four and a half inches. She does have a pre-plucked hairline, and yeah, she's bomb. Let's just dive right in. Now, I am obsessed with the outre soft and natural collection. This is like my fourth review including these units. I did a lookbook. I reviewed 203. I reviewed 201 and 202 in a separate video. This is now my fourth video and I'm reviewing 203 because out of the three this is my absolute favorite and I will go into why. If you want to see my other reviews I will link them in the description box below as well. So first pro of this unit is I don't know where to begin honestly but I'll say it over and over again. I think this texture is absolutely divine. It mimics natural hair blown out beautifully and it's not coarse and brittle like you can have coarse hair and still have it be soft but i feel like some of these companies just don't want us to like don't want us to showcase us with soft hair or something i don't know or they think like our hair is always so dry when i say our i mean black people primarily or people of color people with kinky hair 4b4c hair that's what i'm talking about so I just love that they got this texture all the way right. It feels very nice, soft, and moisturized. Another pro to this unit is the color selection. As I stated in other videos, when it comes to natural hair units that are synthetic and color, the two just don't go hand in hand, okay? <laughs> I've seen um, reviews of the Jode unit, for example, and seeing that color, I was like, I don't know, it just came off not the most natural and then the blending wasn't the most natural either but as you can see here i mean this is blended and it is blended throughout look at those roots y'all see that right it's just absolutely gorgeous i love the color selection this is a sienna copper with this copper color it's not just a straight burnt orange copper. The dimensions in this color is so pretty because there's a little bit of red here, a little bit of some blonde streaks. It's so um, detailed, it's so fine-tuned. I really, really appreciate that. I know I said that in my other 203 video as well, but get into this color, honey. Like, I look like a pumpkin spice latte. Who's gonna drink me up? I love it. I also really appreciate the style of this unit. I love the long layers. If I get up here and show you, this, you know, falls pretty long on me. I am 5'3 and it falls past my chest. 
about 22 inches but as you can see the layers start around here and no i did not cut it this way the layers come like this and i have no desire to come in and trim anything you already know how i am with scissors i'm quick to cut something out but with this unit i'm like okay i can like let it be out the box another pro to this unit is the hairline it looks really nice and natural i didn't pluck anything i don't think this hairline needs to be plucked if you want to go in and pluck it more that is your prerogative but for me my personal taste it was fine as far as the cons i would say one con to this unit that i didn't realize off the bat when recording in the very the first time was the lace color was a little off like when i first put this on and i was paying attention this time because mind you i have a lot of these units now in different colors and i was like oh i'm seeing like the little cast here i'm seeing a little cast i applied my pressed powder in like a dark brown the cast was still showing i used some of my foundation and i also used like a brown pencil to kind of fill in a little bit and once i did that the cast went away like right now you're i don't think you're really seeing a cast anymore i think it looks a little bit more seamless but down here i didn't apply any powder so you see like that that's kind of what i was seeing all the way around the hairline i think they did well with using a brown lace but it was still a little bit of a cast for my brown skin but honestly that's the only con i have to this unit and it was a small con for me because it was easily fixable i'm obsessed oh wait time out that's not the only con another con to this unit is because you can't get anywhere. This thing has been sold out for weeks now. And every so often, one of these companies tries to sneak in and throw a few of them. A little 201 over here, a 203 over here. And it's like people have to scramble like little mice just to get it. I feel like that's a little ridiculous. I knew off the bat when I was first asked to be a part of the launch that this was going to be a huge deal. And that was back in October. I'm sure Altry had time to kind of prepare the units and have them in full stock so i just don't un i mean i kind of get it because i feel like they're just working with the classic supply and demand rule when it comes to marketing it's like less you have available the more demand there will be and in this case they are riding that out they're like okay i think they're just sending out a set shipment and leaving it at that because i'm pretty sure they made enough and it's just that maybe they're just not available yet for whatever reason. And I think it's because they probably just don't want it to be available because they want to keep that demand going. Business 101, okay? But I did check my computer before I got on camera and I did see some colors available of 203 on wigtypes.com. So check out wig types. I will just keep like refreshing Google, put in Nisha 203 or whatever number you're interested in, keep refreshing and I'm sure something will come up. That's my main con with this whole launch. I just really wish there was more units readily available because you don't know how many people have hit me up saying like, yo, when is the next restock? I'm like, girl, I have no idea. I do my best on Instagram. I will post on my stories. As soon as I hear something, I will post it. People will comment on my videos saying that they just bought the unit and I'm like, girl, where'd you get it? Because I know people are asking. And as soon as they tell me, I post it on my story. So make sure you follow me on Instagram is that your hair because i update you know everyone regularly on wigs that i'm reviewing but also especially on this wig because i know it's a real hot commodity right now i am in love with this wig and i'm sure a lot of you are too just one more quick note as far as this color i wanted to compare it to my cinnamon spice color this is the cinnamon spice one. Some of you might have felt like maybe it was a similar color, but there's a difference. You can see the copper, the sienna copper is very much of an orange overall tone, but the cinnamon spice has more of a reddish tone. Both colors are beautiful. I'm obsessed with this color because I've never had a color quite like this. And this is similar in that there's so many dimensions of color in here. You might not see it on camera, but trust me, it's there. Copper, cinnamon spice, pick your pick. Let me know how you feel about Nisha 203 in the comments down below. What has your experience been like with the new Nishas? Have you snagged one? Are you still waiting for one? What have you seen in other reviews? Am I missing anything? Hopefully I'm not. But of course, if you have any other questions, drop a comment down below because I love when y'all talk to me. Also, please make sure you check out my girl Shanice's video. She is so bomb at what she does and she'll have you looking laid and slayed, okay? And laughing at the same damn time. So check my girl out. And if you are new to my channel, make sure you click that subscribe button and don't forget to tap the notification bell because you don't want to miss the upcoming videos. I'm telling you, you do not. Is that your hair holiday has been interesting? It's been a lot. It's been a little bit overwhelming to be honest, but I've been making it. <laughs> you know, I've been making it. This will be the last day because 
I'm about to go on vacation and I just don't have the time to do everything that I want to do for the series, unfortunately. Next year, I'll plan better. Also, I'm thinking about vlogging my vacation for my, my, for my birthday, so if you want to see that, drop a comment down below too. I haven't disclosed where I'm going yet, but when I go, you'll know. So follow me on Instagram if you want to find that out too. And if you want to see some of my recent videos, check them out over here to the right of me. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.